Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you a Korean style Uchimata. So the Koreans, they really like using both lapels. So if me and Matt are in a grip fight and I can't get this sleeve here, I really try and get the lapel to either try and transition or attack. So with the Korean style Uchimata, I get the lapel and when Matt goes for a grip, that allows me to pull his arm and lift my elbow as if I've actually got that sleeve. See how it kind of has the same look? And from here, I want to look at my watch like I'm doing a normal Shimada and enter. So, watch him again. Can't get the sleeve. I go for the lapel. He tries to get his grip, and that allows me to get that nice pull. And I come in. Throw. It's nice. Yeah. Another angle. So from here, as long as we get the grip, got a little pelt inside. Hi guys, so now we're going to do a Korean style entry for left versus right. So I'll go right handed on that. So what I'm going to do is it's a real one step entry. And with my left foot, I want to really close the distance and instead of coming in with my right foot and making that triangle, it's really just my left foot as I come in. So from here, my left foot, it's facing in that direction so it's easy to turn my body. And this foot just comes through. Make sure to bend this right knee, otherwise if it's really straight, it'll be just the leg, it'll be no hip action and he can slide off really easily. So I come in nice and bent, foot comes in for the Uchimata. One more time. Foot facing in that direction that I want to throw, and lots of kazushi. All right, I want to be pulling in sort of that same direction. If um, if this hand's just going up and this hand's turning, um, he gets kind of caught in the middle. So both hands have to be. This hand comes comes up and in that direction as well. So here, up, in. Now you notice Liam does this really really well. For a few reasons. One, he's got it from two options in Randori. The first one is, so Liam, tell us what happens when you can't get the sleeve, what do you do? Well, when I can't get the sleeve, I go straight for the lapel. And then? Right? And that forces him to go for a grip. And from here, I can either grab his arm, or I can keep the lapel and do the same movement, just off that lapel. And it actually gets the same reaction, because his arm's still coming out, and it's still pulling him into that direction. So you get the exact same Kazushi. Mm. But you have to make sure this elbow comes to the sky and you're looking at your watch. If it's down low, it's a bit weird, a bit awkward. He can kind of step around. But here, he's on his toes, he's really off balance and he's basically mine to throw. Mm. So let's do one kind of a bit more moving. So Eileen does this really, really well. I encourage you to try this Uchimata. If you've, got, if you've got quite a strong base, like you've got good knee stability, good ankle stability, give this a crack. If you don't have that good stability, you'll notice, like uh, you can't do this uh, style of Uchimata. It's a Korean style of Uchimata. Uh, and the style is quite nice because they've actually taken a step out. Usually Uchimata is a three step entry in most setups. Right, left, lift. But with this entry, it's one go. It's one step go. One step go. That's all it is. And it works really, really nice. Not just left on right, but also right on right. Ah, sorry, right on right. He face that Uchima. Oh yeah, Kouji, Osoro, whatever he wants. Yeah, and it works really, really well. So I encourage you to give that a try at training and see how you like it.